In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up QuickBooks Web Connector to sync with QuickBooks and ServiceMonster. All QuickBooks desktop versions come with a program called QuickBooks Web Connector. The synchronization process seamlessly moves your customers' invoices, payments, items, and taxes from ServiceMonster into QuickBooks. Let's go into the system to complete the integration setup. Before you start, you're going to want to make sure that you are an administrator and you also want to make sure that you're in single user mode. You can tell if it says switch to multi-user mode, that means you are in single user mode. Leave your QuickBooks company file open and then go to Service Monster, select on Orders, select Accounting, and then go to Export Settings. You'll be able to choose your type of export method. For this, we're doing a setup for QuickBooks Web Connector, so go ahead and select that and press Save. Most people will use the defaults here. We'll have another video that goes over the advanced settings. The first step here is to go ahead and click the Download Connector button. It's going to allow you to save or open a file called SMQB Service. Be sure to remember where you saved it so you can open it if it doesn't open automatically. Sometimes this will be in your downloads. Once you click the file open, it'll have some security messages that come up. Let's go ahead and review those messages. At this point, you should have opened the smqbservice.qwc file. The first message that should pop up is an authorized new web service box. This is just authorizing to have the web connector communicate between QuickBooks and ServiceMonster. You can click OK. The second box that comes up should say QuickBooks Application Certificate at the top. And you're going to be answering the question, do you want to allow this application to read and modify this company file? You're going to choose the third option, yes, whenever this QuickBooks company file is open. And click continue. The last box is just confirming the confirmation of the web service communicating between QuickBooks and ServiceMonster. And you can click done. The QuickBooks Web Connector Utility screen will pop up and it will contain an entry for SMQBWC Web Service. You'll want to enter in your ServiceMonster user password, the same user that you used to download this file. You'll enter in the password field and press enter. When asked if you want to save this password, click yes. Now that you've gone through all those steps, the web connector is actually set up and you won't have to go through those steps again. Remember, QuickBooks is only allowed to communicate with one QuickBooks at a time and it's a one-to-one -one connection. Please watch our next video to see how to use the web connector to actually transfer using the web connector setup. 